In this video, I'm going to share with you the best theme team in Madden 22 right now. I'm going to explain why I think that. I'm going to show you the best strategy cards, the best everything that you can do to have the best team possible in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload videos every single day. If you want to get my exact offensive or defensive ebooks, I also have some really, really good material on my Patreon. You get all the ebooks by joining the Patreon membership. So if you want to join the Patreon membership, there's a link in the description below. You can join that for just 10 bucks, get my exact offense and my exact defense. I've got over 13 different ebooks in the Patreon membership, but the best theme team right now in Madden 22 is the Dallas Cowboys theme team. I'm going to share with you why I believe so, and I'm also going to share with you how you can actually make it even better uh, with a couple of things. Now, I did a video uh, earlier today talking about the importance of man coverage. The number one reason why um, I believe that the Dallas Cowboys theme team is the best theme team, at least for me, and I think for a lot of people, is because I plan to run a significant amount of rank of uh, man coverage. Uh, the route tech ability is not as good as it was in 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 weeks past. Even um, it's there's not a lot of great route running abilities out there, to be honest. And so. Um, because of that, I really like this theme team. So the, if you take a look at the archetypes here, you're going to notice something about Everson Wall. So if I just grab him here, if you take a look at this, you're going to notice that his archetype is man-to-man. -man. The man-to-man -man archetype, if you're wanting to play a man defensive scheme, in my opinion, is the best archetype for your corner. The reason why is because you can get this deep route knockout ability for only two AP. I actually have five uh, deep route knockout abilities on my uh, lineup so that I can basically man any of those guys up and if they ever run a deep route now what is a deep route well a deep route is a crossing route a corner route a post route a deep streak a fade a uh, deep out route um, these deep route KOs light up all over out basically over 10 yards anything over 10 yards these will light up at least that's just been my experience with this and then here's another reason why I like the Cowboys theme team if you come over here, the, I, I want to make a quick little point, and, and I know that not everybody thinks this way, and I really would like your feedback on this, but let me know what you think about this. The reason that I like the Cowboys theme team so much is because, in my personal opinion, I think that height is really, really important. And so if you were to use the Patriots theme team, everybody is under six foot. You don't have man-to-man -man archetypes across the board. You have a couple of zone archetypes in there. The Broncos theme team, you have several zone archetype corners in there. And so that's one of the reasons. Uh, I, I really value the man-to-man -man archetype. I really value height. And then also, if you take a look here, Everson Walls has a 98 speed, but also he's 96 press. I actually love to press at this point in the season. Um, I really think it is very effective. So I'm, I'm actually been looking for players that have 95 or higher press coverage uh, to play on my field. Now, that brings me to my second point with Deion Sanders. So, Deion Sanders, the one drawback to Deion Sanders as a corner is if you take a look at his attributes, everything is great. He has great mate. He's a man to man archetype. He's 98 speed. He's got 97 man, 96 zone. He's got great. He's six foot, so he's over that 5'11 threshold. Um, the problem with Deion Sanders, in my opinion, is his press. If you take a look at his press rating, you're going to see it's only 83. Because it's only 83 press, he gets burned a lot if you press him. So what I like to do is I actually like to sub him out um, of that outside corner slot. And I can either do a couple things. I can put him in the slot. But what I really like to do is play him at free safety. Because my free safety is not going to be in man-to-man -man coverage, or it's not ever going to be in press coverage, if you will. My free safety typically is going to be uh, in off coverage, and he's going to be covering either the tight end or the running back in most three wide receiver, 11 personnel uh, sets. So that's why I like to play Deion Sanders at that position, okay? Uh, one other corner, uh, two other players I want to talk about really quickly on the Cowboys theme team, and then we'll talk about the next uh, kind of tier of this, and that is this Byron Jones. So this Byron Jones is really, really good. My biggest issue is he's a he's a zone archetype. So if you take a look here, his attributes, he's got pretty good speed. He's got good press, good man, good play rec. He's over six foot, um, so that's all good. But if you take a look here, the for him to get deep route or medium route KO, he have to pay three AP for that. Um, so that is not what we want to do. Okay. Now, if you wanted to, I mean, you could make an argument and you could probably get this guy on your field. But in my opinion, I just don't think that it makes a lot of sense. Um, so what I like to do with Byron Jones is he's kind of my like quarter three deep or dollar type of corner that I can use in certain situations. But insert Trayvon Diggs. 
Trayvon Diggs is a man-to-man -man archetype, so he's going to get this. I actually think that Trayvon Diggs will get another upgrade this year, but if you take a look real quickly here, you're going to notice that he's right at that threshold. He's at 90 press, 95 man, 96 speed, and he is 6'1". He makes a ton of plays for me, so I'm going to stick with Trayvon Diggs as my uh, other safety in this defense, and the reason why is because I really ha I hide this guy right here. This guy is kind of the secret to the whole scheme. Patrick Peterson. He is, if you take a look at here at his, his ratings, he is 98 speed. He's six foot one. Now, the reason he's 98 speed, I'm going to show that in just a second. He's got 99 man coverage, 97 zone, or zone, and 97 press. This guy is every bit as good, probably even a little bit better than Everson Walls. The Cowboys team will also be getting Mel Renfro this week, who is yet another six foot corner that is going to play really good. You know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and just sub him in while I'm thinking about it. This guy right here, Mel Renfro, he's six foot. Now, this is his 90 overall card. Obviously, he's going to get a better card um, coming later this week. So be on the lookout for that. But when you get this guy, he's the slot archetype. The one thing I will say about the slot archetype, I don't love the slot archetype. If you take a look here, they don't really get very good abilities. That's just my opinion. You can always just put Acrobat on him. You can always just put Lurker on him. Lurker is a great ability uh, for a corner. Um, the bench press ability for the slot is really, really good. Um, because if you think about it, you're going to have zones that will help you out. I really like bench press for the slot type of player it just helps him press um but anyways those are some of the abilities that you could put he gets short route ko for one ap so that's a very good ability that you could use um short route ko is really good especially on like slants or quick outs or stuff like that um one other thing i want to talk about is this ability right here bottleneck is um what it will allow you to do is it allows you to dominantly win man press attempts this X factor is so good. Once you get it activated, it's literally better than bench press was last year pre-patch. It is so, so good at pressing receivers into the ground. Um, so that's that. And then the reason that Patter Patterson uh, gets this is because of this coach right here, or strategy item, uh, Vince Lombardi. So if you take a look here at this strategy item, um, it's not hard to get this at all. All you have to do is just simply get the, um, do the solo challenges in the ghost and you'll get this strategy item. What it does is it gives you plus one to all of your ratings, including speed, and then plus three awareness, plus three play recognition. If you take a look here at the deep freeze item, um, it's kind of the same thing. It's plus one speed, plus two to all ratings. It's a great item, but I don't really play with any of those players, right? And then the stocking stuffer one, I was using that one, but I actually moved over to this one uh, with Vince Lombardi. And one last thing I want to talk about about the Cowboys team team, really that we the kind of the even better part is this. They have the best quarterback in the game. You could make an argument that either Randall Cunningham or Tony Romo, either one of those guys are very good. You don't even necessarily need either one of these guys. You could also run with Dan Marino, who gets every theme team. You could also run with Tim Tebow if you really want to uh, use him. Okay, so good players in that regard. The other thing that you can do, and I actually sold off a couple of my kind of excess, excess players, um, but Zico Elliott gets two times theme Kim. Also, this Dalton Schultz and Billy Joe Dupree, they both get two times theme Kim team uh, chemistry. Uh, that just helps because if you take a look here, you're going to notice that I can get to 50 Cowboys pretty easily. So it's going to leave me several slots that I could use to put other players in. Um, but then this is where it really gets cool. Um, they, every receiver is 99 speed. So CD Lamb is a deep threat uh, receiver who gets deep out of leap for 1 AP. He has 99 speed and then 90 uh, route running across the board. Deion Sanders, we just got him today. Um, I actually really, like I said, I really value height. Um, so I'm actually debating if should I play Keyshawn or should I play Hester. Uh, but if you take a look here, Deion Sanders, 99 speed, 96 route running, 97, 94, all that stuff. He's six foot, um, gets the best abilities by far, short and elite, deep out elite or slot matic and deep battle. He actually gets slot matic for only two AP, which is very cheap for a route runner. Um, Devin Hester, this guy, uh, this is the brand new Devin Hester. I just got it upgraded. Um, I don't really like him. I'm kind of testing him out because he's 5'11". Again, I really value height. That's actually why I got rid of Tavon Austin as well. But uh, you see here, Hester, 99, 99 everything. I mean, just, just across the board, uh, just, just a great player. Uh, Ratings-wise, great archetype and the route-running archetype. But if you don't like Devin Hester, 
um, because you value height like me, then you can go with Keyshawn Johnson. Now, I actually don't know if I'm doing something wrong. So if you know that I am, let me in the comments. He should be 99 speed. He's actually 98. I think he should be 99. I, I don't know why, but I just couldn't get him to 99 speed. I don't understand why. But anyways, you see here, just great route running. And even better, he's six foot four. So this guy just makes so many plays uh, on the field. He'll catch everything. And then real quick, for the, the Dallas theme team doesn't have a great tight end. I don't really think that this line really matters. Once you get them to like 90 overall and above, I feel like they all kind of play the same. I could be wrong on that. Um, and you could you have slots. Like I could I could take all these linemen and replace them with whatever the best lineman is in the game, and I would be fine. Um, my theme team would not take a hit. I would still be able to easily hit my, my threshold. Vernon Davis, I just switched to this guy. I was using Kyle Pitts before. The reason I like Vernon Davis so much is because, number one, um, he gets that strategy card that uh, Lombardi. So he goes from 94 speed to 96 speed. To me, that's huge. He was 95 speed once you powered him up. So the only thing that I don't like is he's only 6'3". Kyle Pitts was 6'6". But everything else, he's better. Um, he's better at every other uh, rating. I think maybe spec catch. But um, he has great short routing, great medium route running. And then really the key to... Uh, him is as you can see right here he has 91 uh, deep route running uh, that is huge absolutely huge for uh, any kind of like scheme that is reliant upon a tight end uh, to be very effective another thing that I didn't talk about and this is one of the other things I think that is really cool about the Dallas theme team is Micah Parsons so I actually kind of overpaid for him um, but I was really excited I did it on stream um, I've spent like 1.4 million more coins than he was probably worth. Uh, but anyways, um, if you take a look here, Micah Parsons, he makes so many plays for me. He's 98 speed once you get everything powered up. He's got 96 finesse, 93 block shed, uh, like I said, 6 foot 3. I play him at defensive end. You could even user him if you wanted to. Um, I really think it makes a lot of sense to play him at defensive end. And the reason why is because you also um, – have and I actually need to get this guy on the theme team here so um, bear with me for one second I'm gonna change something on my team because um, I don't see him here he needs to be on this on this section right here so DeMarcus Ware uh, was just released today and if you take a look at his ratings and, and he is just as every bit as good as Micah Parsons is so if we jump over here you're gonna see that he's my defensive end in my nickel defense I just released the nickel defense on the Patreon. If you want to learn how to run it, just head over to the Patreon. But this is what's really cool. Um, he has 96 speed. 96 speed, 96 block shed, 94 power move, 97 finesse move, 6 foot 4, 91 strength. Literally, very, very good card. He's going to be there for a long time. There's going to be a while before you're going to get that much better of a card. Um, just a very, very, very good player uh, for my defense. So I love, love, love DeMarcus Ware. And then also, if I wanted to, I could even, let's say I had a package or something, I could use this Broderick Thomas, who is 92 speed, 94 block shed, 94 fa uh, power move, 90 strength. Very good player as well. So those are all good players. Um, same thing with Charles Haley. Charles Haley is one of the most slept on players on this team. Um, if you take a look at his abilities, it's almost 90 speed. He's 6'5", and he's basically 90 everything. Literally just basically all solid all the way through. Uh, so very good player there. But then this is really the game changer for me. Randy Gregory and Everson Griffin together. Randy Gregory, once you do all the power-ups, has 94 speed, 97 strength, 95 block shed, 92 power moves, 95 finesse moves, and he is 6 foot six to me that is absolutely insane um he will stop the run he can play pass coverage um i was streaming earlier today on youtube and he literally kept up with running backs in man-to-man -man coverage that's how good he is everson griffin is a very close second um you might want to find somebody else for this position i still think he's very good um 90 speed uh 88 block shed 90 power move 83 finesse move 92 strength I think he does fine. Um, and then if you really wanted to like stop the run, you could come over here and grab Jay Ratliff, who's like a 95 overall player. And he's very good. He's not very fast. That's the biggest reason why I don't use him. But everything else, he does great. Everything else, literally everything else, he does perfect. Block shed, power move, finesse move, strength rating, 
six four, three hundred plus pounds. Very, very good player. So if you ever need to like stop the run, I would sub him in instead of Everson Griffin in that position. But Randy Gregory is an absolute monster. So, uh, anyways, those are the reasons why I really like the Cowboys theme team. Um, this Tony Romo is also, I think the. He's not the first card to get Gunslinger and Hot Route Master, but he gets Gunslinger, Hot Route Master, and then if you haven't already started using this, Long Range Deadeye is one of the best abilities in the game by far. Um, you'll make a lot of throws, a lot better. Uh, but anyways, uh, he gets Gunslinger and Hot Route Master, and the other cool part about this is he's 84 speed. So he's going to be able to get out of the pocket. His throw on the run is not as good as I'd like it to be. So I might look to like change quarterbacks. There's a lot of quarterbacks you could put in this theme team and would be just fine. If you're someone that likes to run the gun bunch meta and you want to use Randall Cunningham, um, a lot of people like Randall Cunningham. Very, very good card. And as you can see on the Cowboys theme team, he gets even better. He's 96 speed. I mean, just an absolute monster. So this this team is just really good. And then the one weakness I was having a lot was the running back position. I had Taymon Austin there at 94 speed. This Adrian Peterson, because he's a ghost, he gets a plus one speed boost. And so as you can see here, he's going to get 96 speed, 97 change of direction, 96 break tackle. I, again, really value height. I feel like people that are under six foot in this game don't play as good as people that are six foot to six five. Uh, so I always like to have someone that is six foot or higher. So uh, Adrian Peterson kind of fits that mold for me. And uh, I, you could put backfield mismatch on him, and he would do really well as well. Uh, but anyways, this is this is my team right now. I think this is the best team in the game. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you think. What team? What theme team are you rocking? Uh, what are some of your favorite cards? Uh, let me know if you can help me figure this uh, Keyshawn Johnson issue out. I feel like he should be 96 speed, but his power ups not giving him a plus one speed burst. So I'm not quite sure uh, why that's happening. So if you know about that, go ahead and let me know. Strategy cards, really recommend these right here. You get the two uh, really good offensive ones, the two defensive ones, and then you get Lombardi. And you are just going to have an absolute field day. Um, I didn't talk too much about this Sertan card. He's kind of similar to Pat Pete. Um, for me, you're going to see here 96 speed, 97 man, 96 zone, 96 press and six foot two so that is kind of how i'm rocking my squad i want to thank you for watching this video and if you want to learn how i run everything you want to get all my ebooks go ahead and join the patreon membership there's a link to do that in the description below you can sign up today for just 10 bucks and i guarantee you it will help you become a better madam player